Hello everyone, so here's another question. We are given the equation x squared minus 7x plus 10 and the first question says sketch the graph. So we need to know that that is a parabola. Now a typical parabola does something like that. So the main points we need to look for would be x-intercepts. So I'm just going to write that over here. We would need a y-intercept and then we need a turning point. So certain things you just need to know off by heart. To find the x-intercept you need to make y equal to 0. So we make y equal to 0. Now I know in grade 11 some students have become a bit lazy. Well, not lazy, but you, you become very reliant on the quadratic formula, which there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, So the quadratic formula is this one over here. Or you could factorize. So this one is going to be easy to factorize, but as I said, using the formula is fine. And then if you factorize it like that, then your two answers will be x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 2. So those are your two x-intercepts. So there we have our two x-intercepts. Then to find the y-intercept, you must make x equal to 0. So you take the equation and you make x equal to 0. And what you'd be left with is 10. So that's going to be up here. So I'm just going to say 0 and 10. The next thing you need to find is the turning point. So remember, if you forget the turning point formula, then always just look at the quadratic formula, which will always be given to you on a formula sheet. Then the turning point is this part over here. So we can say that the x is equal to minus b over 2a. And so that's going to be equal to minus, then b is minus 7. So I'm just going to put a minus 7 over there, over 2, and then a is 1. Now a minus and a minus is a plus. So that's 7 over 2, which is the same as 3.5. So 3.5 is going to be exactly in the middle over here. But we don't know exactly where the y value is. We don't know if it's going to be here, 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 here. We don't know where it is. So what we do is we take that x value that we just found and we plug it into the original expression, like that over there. And then you just type that in on the calculator and that gives you a value of negative 2.25. So down here we can put a little dot and we can say that the x value was 3.5 or 3. 0.5 and then the y value is minus 2.25 and there we have it so now we can draw the graph and so now we can answer the question so number two for which value of x is the graph increasing okay so what you got to do is imagine that this shape is or this graph is a roller coaster but it always goes from left to right so if this was a roller coaster where would the roller coaster be going upwards because over here we can see that this roller coaster would be going downwards and over here it's still going downwards then it hits the turning point and then it would start going upwards and that's what we mean by increasing so the graph increases after the turning point so we can say but then they always want you to use x values when explaining your answer so we can say that x must be all the numbers that are bigger than 3.5 and then always remember to add x as an element of real numbers at the end you could also use so this is one way to give the answer the other way is to use the bracket method so you would say x is an element going from 3.5 all the way to infinity. Okay, so these are two different ways. Each student is different. You must choose whichever one's best for you. Now, number three, for which value of x is f of x greater than zero? Okay, guys, when you get a question like that, they're saying, where are the y values positive? Now, where, where are y values positive? Remember, y values go upwards and downwards. So they must be positive everywhere over here above the x-axis and they are negative over here which is below the x-axis. So where on this graph do we have the y value or the graph above the x-axis? Well that's going to be over here up to there and then also over here. Would you agree that this part down here which I'm doing I'm highlighting in pink that's below the x-axis so that's considered negative that's a negative y value so we want the x values that I've got in blue so this part here will be all the x values that are to the left of minus 2 so we can say x must all sorry just positive 2 so we can say x must be smaller than 2 or we can say x can be all the numbers that are bigger than 5 so x smaller than 2 that's this part here on the left or x can be bigger than 5 that's this part here on the right. And then always say x is an element of real numbers. Now we can move on to number four. 
where they say for which value of x is the graphs negative. So that means below the x-axis. So that's over here. So x can be all the numbers between, so bigger than 2, but must be smaller than 5. You see, when your answer goes between two numbers, then your answer looks like this. And when your answer is two separate parts, like in the previous question, then it looks more like number 3. And then we should always just add x is an element of real numbers.